Hey, thanks for stopping by today. Look at these two letters. One's kind of boring, one is absolutely beautiful in color. I'm going to show you how to do that today, but before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about engraving in general. Would you believe that both of these letters have exactly the same speed and power? Both of them have been run at 400 millimeters per second at 20% power. I'm using a Thunder Nova 35 100 watt laser today with a two inch lens, standard Baltic birch. The birch has not had any treatment to it whatsoever. No lotions and potions, no borax solution. And so the ultimate goal today is to show you how to get this beautifully colored engraving with that third element that a lot of people don't use. What am I talking about? Well, what most people do when they try to get a nice dark engrave is they keep their speed the same and they just keep adding power. Yes, it gets darker and darker and darker. Here's the big problem with that. The deeper engrave, uh, you're vaporizing a whole lot more material, which means that that vaporized material is going to end up on your workpiece. And typically that means that you're going to have to spend more time uh, sanding or cleaning off that residue in order for it to be a usable product. The ultimate goal for the most part is to have a nice shallow engrave, but it's got to be nice, de it's got to be dark colored. And that way, if you're vaporizing small amounts of material instead of a lot, you have a lot less residue to deal with. And so what we're going to do is we're going to follow a process today. It's very simple. I'm going to ask you to change one thing in your engraving process, and it's going to be an absolute game changer in the way it provides a much richer and deeper color. This will also uh, work on a couple of different lenses. I tested a one and a half inch lens with this process along with my standard two inch lens and the results are the same. You're going to see there's a couple of little tweaks at the end that I'm going to throw at you to kind of take this uh, to the next level. I'm excited to share this with you guys today. I hope you enjoy the content. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's talk about what we've got here. I've got the letter S. We've focused it at six millimeters. It was engraved at 400 millimeters per second at 20% power. Remember, this is on a Thunder Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser. And I've got the lines per inch at 317, which is the default. Pretty standard, fairly shallow engrave, and uh, but not quite uh, dark enough for my liking. Well, what we're going to start to do is we're going to start to increase the focus distance. And so in this particular case, we went from six millimeters to seven millimeters, same power, same speed. And you can see that it's just slightly different, not a lot of color difference, but some. Take it a step further and we'll go ahead and look at the focus at eight millimeter 400 millimeter speed, 20% power, still 317 LPI. And now you can really start to see the, the difference in uh, color between the normal distance. My two inch lens is normally uh, focused at six millimeters. And at two millimeters out of focus, you can see that we're really starting to get some nice color. We'll go to nine millimeters and see what that looks like. So here we went from eight millimeters focus to nine millimeters focus. Again, still the same speed and power, same lines per inch. And now you can see we've got that really nice chocolate color. But one thing that I noticed is right here, you can start to see a few white lines popping out that I didn't see here. So at least, in, in for this lines per inch, your eight millimeter focus distance gives you a beautiful color, uh, very shallow engrave, and there's very little uh, 
residue that you're going to have to clean up. I'm going to do a comparison between the 6 and the 8 or the 9 millimeter and not sand it and show you the difference in residue. But so one other thing that I did is I went ahead and I used the same focus. So in this particular case, I went nine millimeters, 400 millimeters per second, 20% power. But what I did is I jumped up my lines per inch from 317 to 400 and I got rid of all those little lines that were popping up. So if you look at the, uh, the, the difference between these two, pretty much exactly the same focus, same speed and power, but the LPI I pumped up just a little bit, and you can see that I don't have any little white lines like I did right here. That is a beautiful engrave. It's nice and shallow. It did take me a little bit longer because I uh, um, jumped up the lines per inch, but uh, it's still, even at nine millimeters focus, it's nice and crisp, beautiful color. It's not very deep. And so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and engrave this one compared to the six millimeter uh, focus and we'll take a look at the residue difference between the two. One of the other things that's absolutely critical to getting a great engrave with not a lot of contamination is very little airflow when you're engraving. If you're using a lot of airflow when you're engraving, you're pushing all of that vaporized material right back onto your design and it's gonna take you a lot longer to clean it up. In this particular case, what I like about Thunder is I have the ability, I'm going to turn the low volume airflow on, and you can see that literally I have a tenth of a pound of pressure. And if you come down here and I put hold my finger under here, very little airflow. That's absolutely critical to a quality engrave. And uh, if you have the ability to take your needle valve and adjust it here, you want airflow, but just enough to keep the uh, lens cool and clean and no more than that. see there's a pretty good difference between the six millimeter focus color and the nine millimeter focus color. Even if we didn't go to nine millimeters and we stayed with eight millimeters, it's still a, a, a quite a difference just in changing your focus uh, two millimeters out of focus what your normal focus distance is. So give that a try. You can keep it nice and shallow, eliminate a lot of cleanup work, and uh, get that rich dark color that you're looking for. Well, as you can see, just by changing that one element, your focus, on your engraving, it will make a huge difference in what that color looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you do me a big favor, and if you like the content, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you haven't before, please subscribe. And if you have the ability, I would certainly appreciate a thanks and contribute to the channel. It's the contributions that I'm getting that make it possible for me to bring you this content. Again, thank you so much for all the support, and until next time, have a great day.